the moment you weren't planning to vlog but you decide you felt the mood to vlog that's what's happening right now so excuse the hair um it's saturday morning there's little miss Minnie. can you see her there she goes little miss Minnie, and uh we have started the day early two reasons not not really by choice but it's gonna be scorching hot today so she if i don't get her out now i probably won't get her out later because we're supposed to be going to my son's fiance's mom's little birthday shindig and chances are we're not making it back before sunset so there's that and then two my kiddos have dentist appointments so i figured get up and get out get a little quick workout in get it done she's exploring Like, this isn't grass. It's going to hurt your little pawsies. Yeah, I know. And she stops again. <laughs> so, yeah, that's what we got going on today. And I was going to hit the gym, but because of timing and um, I didn't want to be rushing because his appointment's at 9, I figured let me just take her on her walk and do a little quick workout at the house. I have all the equipment that I need, except for the leg um, curl machine, but I can, you know, there's a way to do it without weight, uh, without the actual machine and just wait. So I'm just going to do that and then be able to accomplish what I need to do and get the day going. So if you're interested to see how this day goes, keep on walking. <laughs> So I ended up going to Starbucks and I went back to my normal, um, what is this? The, the Grande Vanilla Cream Cold Brew. This is what I usually always purchase. Um, so I'm here in my kitchen getting ready to make the kids some pancakes. Um, Vincent was craving some pancakes and he wanted me to go to McDonald's and I told him no. Like we eat out way too much and I although it's probably the same recipe I'm not saying that homemade is more healthier than McDonald's but you're also gonna save a buck because I already have the mix at home so you know um, so I'm gonna do that my husband and my oldest son had to take off and run an errand um, but then of course once they come back we have breakfast I'm just gonna tidy up clean up around the house and really um, probably what time is it it's already 11 11 10 or so so yeah just you know kind of chill out do some laundry just get stuff done around the house and then um get myself ready and you know head out to my hairstylist who's going to be giving me a little trim then she's going to put a little bit of toner in my, in my hair so this is the story i was supposed to get my hair cut um the last time i went and got my hair done however her scissors fell um fell out of her hand that morning and they completely broke on the ground and I'm not hair stylist, but she has told me that they're really expensive and um, basically she couldn't get them, get someone to repair that same day. So she's like, if you come back on the third, like I can, you know, cut you and I can even throw some toner in there since you have to come all the way. Cause she lives or not lives, but she works her um, salon is pretty much on the other side of town for me. So I was like, all right, that's, that's fine. That's cool. And it kind of works out because we're already going to be going kind of sort of out that way later for the party. So my husband will catch a ride with my son and then I'll just meet them over at their house. So it's going to be pretty warm though. So I am hoping that it's not like uber to duper hot because I think we're all going to be like crowding in the house because it's so hot. So <laughs> pray for us on that. But yeah, so let me go ahead and get this breakfast started. <music>
lot changed all of a sudden. So I was in the middle of making breakfast and I ate. Sorry I didn't capture breakfast because I was eating and um, hubby came home and then we got to talking and a lot, a whole lot, a lot. Of, but um, as soon as I finished uh, breakfast, or you could say brunch because it was already pretty uh, late in the morning, I got a text from my hairstylist and she said that she's able to see me. Um, my appointment, <laughs> she cracks me up. I, I just text her telling her, okay, I'll, let me just get to the story. So my appointment, my blah, blah, blah. My appointment was initially supposed to be at 3.30. And again, she was going to fit me in because of the previous situation with the scissors and the haircut and all that. Um, and basically she texts me saying that her earlier appointment was super easy and she had a lot of time. So if I wanted to come in sooner, I could. And I said, well, what time? Because actually that may work better for us. And she said, 1.30. And I'm like, all right. And it was like around 12.15 at this point, something like that. So I'm like, oh, okay, I still have time. But then the more I thought about it, I was like, no, because I'm the kind of person that if I'm going to shower, I have to have my outfit already laid out. And I could already tell I didn't have any clue as to what I was going to want to wear. And it was too early to really get ready for our event later. So I'm like, I don't want to go in like dressier clothes to the hairstylist. And not that it's uncomfortable, but you know what I mean? Like you're, then I'm going to feel like I want to refresh and freshen up later. And it's going to have to, it's going to be a whole thing. Cause then I feel like I have to find a whole new outfit. Like, does anybody deal with that? I feel like I'm going to deal with that. And with the way I'm trying to be efficient, like I don't want to have extra dirty clothes. Now you're probably thinking you're gross because you worked out this morning. Although, yes, I did. It was a very, very quick workout. Like, the whole thing lasted me about 20 minutes, 25 minutes max. Because I had to leave. I had to take off to go get, um, take my kids to the dentist. So, I didn't do a full-on workout. If anything, it was a set of four of the, the, so the workouts that you saw, like the deadlifts and, like, the step-ups. I did a, my walk. I did the step-ups and the deadlifts. I did four, four sets of each. And that was pretty much it. And I still had two other sets of other workouts, but obviously time ran out and I had to go. So I didn't get a full on workout. And then of course I ran to the dentist, came back after breakfast, I planned to shower and then go to my appointment later after I finished, you know, tidying up. And since that didn't happen and now here I am on my way to my appointment, it just was all, it was just all too rushed. So I figured, let me go to my appointment then I'll come home, I'll just put my hair up, and then I'll um, shower and actually be able to get ready and do the whole thing. So that's what's going on. Um, but I also wanted to jump in and ask, have any of you heard of this new app? It's called Be Real. So in case you don't know what I'm talking about, I had heard about it a few weeks back on the news. It was like this guy um, that does like tech type videos on the news and it's like called tech smart or something like that I think that's where I heard about it I heard about it and I ignored it never came back to it well my cousin right after my hairstylist was texting me and this is also probably why I got stuck and I didn't end up running up to take a shower right away but my cousin sends me this video or this link and it's about this app called be real this video is not sponsored please understand this is simply a this is me. This is real life. Literally. And so I'm like, oh, I heard about this. So if you're not familiar, this is a new app and the app is called Be Real. And basically what it is, is that you are given a random, like you can only post once a day and it's at any random moment. It's when the app allows you to post. So in other words, I'll get a notification and then you have two minutes to post what you're doing in that moment initially i was like oh yeah that's super easy but you know the part that i forgot it takes a picture of your face as you're posting it so if you're used to filters and you're used to the whole like posing you know and the right back setting the the right background and you know the whole vibe kiss it out the window with this like it or kiss it throw it out the window because that's not the kind of app it is. And I get it. And you know what? Like 
I feel like it's a healthier way. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with filters. There's nothing wrong with having like the nice, you know, like the whole branding of yourself, right? But it also creates this false narrative that your life is perfect. And it's not to say that just because your house is messy, your house, your life isn't perfect, but you're just real. You know what I mean? And I think that I struggle with that because I feel like like, am I the only one that has all this clutter? Am I the only one that has all this crap all over her counters? Am I the only... Like, it plays with you, right? So, I feel like, damn, like, do I really want to show people this? Or, I even struggle with that just on YouTube. Why do you think I don't always show everything? Because I feel like, I don't know if it's just like, I want my house to be tidy. But I also have to remind myself, I live with... It's a household of six in my house, right? Plus dogs. Like nothing's gonna be perfect and I know my kids I don't want them to hear that because to them it's perfect to me it's like nah this isn't gonna cut it and I guess really what I'm saying is there's nothing wrong with being like things being out of place it's just I don't like messy if, if it's like a random sock it doesn't belong there it has its place it doesn't belong there where for them it's like nothing's wrong with that but I don't know I'm, I'm talking too much at this point. I don't want this video to be super long, but I just wanted to see if anybody has experimented with it. If you're on the app, I think like, a, uh, is it called Be Real? I think that's what it's called. I'm brand new to this. I signed up. I put it, I put my one post in and I only have one friend, which is my cousin who invited me. So if you are on there, please sign up and uh, request me. It's Jen Gaga's world. Um, I'd be curious and I would like more friends to kind of scope out what they got going on but I just found that it I just found it to be interesting I'm not sure if I'm a hundred percent in all the way yet and if I don't get a lot of new friends then I'm just probably gonna end up canceling it like no point of adding an extra stressor to your life and if and it, even if you get the post like the notification to post like you don't necessarily have to it's just that you, th this is the catch this is the funny part you won't be able to see anybody else's post until you post. So that's the catch. But if you do post and you post late, nothing wrong with that. It's just that it'll show that you were late. So it'll be like, were you really being real or were you trying to hide? Now, we all understand there's disclaimers that have to happen. We work, right? Especially like my cousin that put me on. She's a nurse. She can't be in the middle of a ER room taking a picture of her and her patient. Like, it, you know what I mean? Like, there's realities involved that sometimes you just can't do that. And she can't be like, oh, I have two minutes. Let me step out the room. Because at the end of the day, that's not being real. It's real because she can't take a photo of her and her patient. You know what I mean? So, if you're late, you're late. Like, it is what it is. Um like me I go to off to the office now I might be in the middle of the meeting I'm not about to be like oh hold on I need to take a picture <laughs> if we're late you're late but I guess the whole idea is if you can do it post it and move forward but I'm excited to see I'm you know gonna like I said I'm gonna kind of play with it and go with the flow maybe I'll end end up not liking it and just cancel the subscription maybe I'll keep it it's not a subscription it's like Instagram it's free but I'm just curious I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I already blabbered on way too long. So I'm going to get over to this appointment, um, get my hair done, then I can actually come home, get ready, and then we can go enjoy. So with that said, I will talk to you all in a little bit. Just got to my hairstylist appointment. I'm ready to see what we do. Um, like I said earlier, she's just going to trim it, and then we're going to add some, I'm thinking purples. So last time we did like a fuchsia. Uh, we've done red before, like pink red. Um, I want purple. So we'll see. I'll come back soon. So this is a hair. Look at the purples. I'm in the little restroom area, but the lighting was hitting it just perfectly. Looks so cute. Love it. This is the other side. Awesome. Tackled by number five, Sam Cannon got up. <laughs> Second down and goal. Ash 
Asher O'Hara in for the Hornet touchdown. So we're just gonna close out the vlog, but as you saw, we made it to the Sac State game and we super de duper won. No bet. We blew them out. <laughs> so, Close. and now we're in the, uh, what is this, Taco Bell, Taco Bell drive through here. Gonna get a quick little snack. And with that, thank you so much for watching. Catch you on the next one, say bye everybody. Bye. <laughs>